Let me show you a cool function in Excel called Workday. So for example, if you have a project and you need to determine the end date of each task, removing holidays and weekend, it's a big headache. If you need, for example, to put a reminder for a report that comes every fourth working day of the month, again, doing it manually is very difficult. So let's solve all this together. Let's go. I have a project here and I need to determine the start date and end date of every task. So let's do it together. It's pretty simple. Equal work day, open parenthesis. You have a start date. It's here, comma, days. Now here, be careful. This is not normal days. It is working days. So I'm going to select this, comma, you have holidays. Holidays is an optional parameter. How did I know this? Well, you have the brackets around it. In my case, I need it. So I'm just going to select my holidays, close parenthesis, press enter. So you get the 4th of Jan. Now, if I put three days, what will happen? You get the seventh. Why? Well, let's understand the formula together. The third is not counted in the formula. It will start with the next day. So that's one day. The fifth is the second day. Now for the sixth, what will happen? It's a holiday, so it doesn't count. The third date will be the seventh and you get seven of Jan. Now, if I put four, you get the tenth. Why? Because the eight and the nine is a weekend and the tenth is a Monday. So that's the fourth day. Now you'll tell me, but my weekend is not Saturday, Sunday. It's Sunday, Monday. What do I do in this case? Well, let me show you because there is another formula. So we're just going to come here. I'm just going to write it in this cell equal workday international. The start date is this comma. You have four days comma. Now you have a weekend. This is optional. If you don't specify it, it will be Saturday, Sunday. In my case, it is option two. So it's here, double click, comma, and then holidays, I'm going to select them, close parenthesis, press enter, and you get the eights. Why? Because the fourth is number one, the fifth is day two, the sixth is skipped, seven is day three, and eight is day four, because now Saturday is a working day, nine and ten is the weekend. So I'm just going to remove this, and I need to specify this day to be the tens, so equal the tens easy now we double click and we get the dates the problem though is it is ugly i get 0 jan 1900 because there is nothing here so what to do in this case just to make it neater i'm just going to use an if formula and say if d2 which is this cell is equal to nothing so this is why i have double quotation double quotation comma if it's true i want nothing so double quotation double quotation comma if there is something, I need the tense, close parenthesis, and now we double click and we get our dates. Now here, before I drag, I just need to use F4 on the holidays. I don't want the holidays to move when I drag it. So just F4 here, press enter and double click. There you go, you get all the dates. For example, if we look at the 18th of Jan, I have two days, I get 21. Why? So we are on the 18th, 19th is day one. No, because it's a holiday. So that's skipped. 20 is day one, 21 is day two. This is why you get 21. Perfect. Now, before you go, let me put another problem to light. So here I need to submit a report on the fourth working day of the month. And I need a reminder. So every month, the fourth working day will be different. How do I do this? Let's use workday is equal to workday, open parenthesis, start date is the 1st of Jan in this case, comma, number of days is 4, and let's assume I don't have holidays, let's close parenthesis. For this case, this is 6th of Jan, I just drag it and you get all the dates.